our subscribers are crazy intelligent. I just love it. You guys ask the best questions, and they're legit. So here's one that I get asked a lot, so I'm going to explain it. People are always saying, they're always saying, how does the water move in the pipe when there's all these holes? Because the thought behind it is, does the water just fall out as easy as it goes in? So I get that. That's legit, guys. Trying to figure out how this pipe works, don't don't screw yourself into the ground, man. Um, it's this simple. We wanted these big outlets for two reasons. One, the water goes right into this pipe, and this pipe acts as a giant void. Just like we go up in size on aggregate, the larger the aggregate, the bigger the voids. Say you don't have big aggregate available to you. Say you get stuck using small stone. Well, then it's even more important that you put two pipes in because you create the voids. This is a giant void, two four-inch pipes. That is a monster void in your system. And I'm going to teach you some more stuff here in this video real quick because the guys want to start putting stone in. Now, over here, we're going to have a T. And the discharge is going to go to the storm drain. With these big inlets in the high octane, the water collected in this pipe just passes through into this pipe. Now we're gonna put a T here, but that's how we do it. People always say, hey, what's going on here? You're not connecting these two pipes. Well, I, it's a big void. It's like having monster aggregate. You'd have to have 12 inch or 18 inch, you know, brown rock to create the kind of voids we're creating. So that is what we do here. Now, see how big these voids are? Any dirt or contaminants will pass right through these voids. They'll pass right through these pipes. Can you believe that? It's awesome. We put a camera and some LED lights together, made a really cool rig. This rig will let us go through drainage pipe. And we put this in place and we left it in place during many rain events so that we can explain how drainage pipe works. What's great about a pipe that has holes 360 degrees all the way around it, under light rains, you're going to see it sweat. You're going to see the water collect and move at the bottom. People ask all the time when a pipe has many holes in it, how does it hold water? Well, that's not how the drainage systems work. Basically, water finds the path of least resistance. So wherever there's air, the water is going to fill that void that's creating the air. So the drainage pipe creates a giant void. The water then fills the void. When you put in drainage pipe, you always take it to a location of discharge for it to daylight. That's where the water is going to run out of this giant void that's created by the drainage pipe. Now, this has been over many rains that we captured all of this video for you. So the different rain events create different situations. You can see the water just sweating down the pipe through all the holes and all the inlets, and it fills the void. As it fills, just like water fills a glass from the bottom up, you can see the water rise. And under really torrential rains where you have a lot of sheet water, you'll actually see the water flooding in from all directions. That's what's nice about having a drainage pipe that has holes all the way around it, 360 degrees. And then after the rain event, you can see that the water drains out doesn't leave any water behind. If it's built right, your drainage system is built right, you won't have any water left behind. Now, this is a torrential rain, a really hard red cell, orange and red cell, thunderstorm event. You can just see the water's coming in from the top, from the sides, everywhere, and it's rising up in this void. It's chasing out all the air. Water takes the path of least resistance. This is how a drainage pipe works. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And until that next video, 